We don't have much time. For what? I thought you said Oliver had a plan. Yeah, and in the event that it doesn't work, he has a backup. Us. John, let's determine the status of our arsenal. Laurel, go to your father, start mobilizing the police. Mr. Palmer, I need you to find something that will neutralize an airborne contagion. Miss Smoke, let's find out where our League of Assassin friends might be. I'm sorry, did I mumble? We follow his lead. For now. Uh, guys, I set up a proximity alarm to detect any unauthorized entry to this level. It's going off like crazy. We should give these guys the room. Vanessa looks happy. You two on your honeymoon. What the hell's going on, Oliver? Start talking! The reason that I have kept Malcolm close for the past several months is because he had critical intel on our enemy. He knows Ross. He knows the League. And he knew that if I was appointed his successor, that meant Starling City was marked for death. The only way that we were going to defeat the League was from the inside. I had to get close enough to Ross to find out how he was going to destroy the city and stop it. You trusted Malcolm Merlin more than you did the two people closest to you. John, it wasn't about trust. It was about making sure that you and you were safe. I had to keep the circle as small as possible. How did you expect to repair all this once you got back? I didn't. I flew with Ross and the virus to Sterling, and I sabotaged the plane. The plan was to kill Roz and destroy the virus. It didn't work. How did you expect to survive the plane crash? You didn't. You never expected to have this conversation. You were planning on dying. 